Welcome to a brand new video. Today I'll be walking you all through the Drake's dormitories. Specifically this room is what I mean. And my name is Arlen and let's get into this video. So I'll be starting off with the bedding. Bedding is here as you enter the room. You don't get sheets or pillows, you get a mattress. And a frame to support it and below that are your drawers where you can keep your belongings or anything you like uh, you can keep it as personalized as you as you'd like it to be and this is where your roommate will be if you have chosen a dual room uh, the rooms with that i know of are up here are available up to four roommate rooms so that's amazing to the best of my knowledge the price of the single room is double compared to this double room uh, by double room i mean a room which can store two people like this one and the prices of the room with three people and room with four people are the same as the room with two people the, to the best of my knowledge as long as i have the read the drake site and i'm i'm 99 right by the way <laughs> like there's 99 percent chance that i everything i say is correct because i've done a lot of research on drake's website and i've made a decision which is a massive commitment of joining this amazing university and traveling all the way from my home country to this amazing university and i'm looking forward to make some awesome things happen here. Um, I am doing computer science, that's my major, and my second major is artificial intelligence, and uh, my minor, I have double, my, I'm doing double minors in uh, information systems and data analytics, so it'll be an awesome journey. I'm on the right track. I chose 18 hours, credit hours for the semester, and it's gonna be a beautiful journey. I'll be completing my graduation in about four years, and that'll be beautiful. I'm really happy to be here. The staff has been so welcoming. The Midwesterns are so nice. According to my personal experiences, everyone can have different experiences. Just trust your own experiences and instinct. I'm feeling so amazing over here. Okay, so now let me show you the drawers first. These are the drawers. Beautiful, big, if you ask me, like depends. I'm like 5'10", so for me these are big. The view is beautiful. Like, Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Tell me in the comments what you think. Do you agree with me? I think you do. Beautiful little working space. Draw again. Maybe we pull it out. Oh, we can actually. Maybe it's not supposed to go like that. Maybe it is, but we can pull it out if you want to for some reason. And this is your place. I know this is my place. This is your roommate's place. Okay, so as you enter, like uh, the movement times for. For, in my case, the moment times for the international students were 21 August and 20 August. 20 August, 3 to 9 p.m. and 21 August from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. I moved in at 1 p.m. and I was lucky my staff was there. I was, I'm super happy that he was here and he helped me move in a little quicker. He gave me the key and I'm really thankful for him. If he's watching this, uh, thank you so much. Uh, you're here, you're downstairs. I'll just come back and I'll remember your name better next time but for now I'm really thankful and then I went outside I believe my RA's name is Isaac and what he did for me is super sweet before I even came I saw these little Among Us stickers in yellow color yellow is the color of my housing team the team of which I was captain in my school the sports team and this is a little Amazing among the sticker for me and my roommate Owen. I'll be telling you more about Owen in a second. He's from Long Grove, Illinois, and he'll be studying with me at Drake. He has a psycholo psychology major, and he might choose this side or this side. I I've left it totally on to him. Like he can choose choose a side whichever he wants because I don't really have a preference. I just like any side, so <laughs> I go both ways. That that's awesome, left or right. And okay, so if he doesn't reply. To me, I'll just have to set my bedding up. I got it all. I got it. By the way, okay. So regarding the packing, I'll recommend you bring your briefs. I recommend you bring it all. Like bring everything, bro. <laughs> especially the passport. Especially your I-20 form, the eligibility certificate, which the university gives you. That's what I-20 is. And you have to have all that information, all that documents with you. All your important. Don't, 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 don't lose them at the airport. Be super careful. You will. Uh, be lacking sleep if you're coming from Asia to the US to Drake you'll be lacking sleep that's a no-brainer like obviously you will be so be careful be attentive somehow just do it like just be attentive and don't lose your boarding passes like this this happens okay this happens like these are one of the 
reasons most people get denied entry or something because of the boarding pass. It's like important documents getting lost. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, the reason why most people get de de uh, denied entry and all that is because of some errors they make, not because they are actually uh, accountable for something. Or, I don't know, but I, I was reading an article like that. Okay, so make sure you got all your documents handy make sure so what i do to keep my documents handy is that i have this harmonium file it has 12 folders i got i got everything here everything you can do the same if you, if you like if that works for you or if you have some other ways that's also good okay bring your briefs that's one of the most important things when it comes to clothing do something good and leave a good first impression i hope you like it if you do comment down below if it's working on you so bring the make the most out of the storage you're given for the airline you're traveling through i'll recommend you check your tickets and make sure you got the baggage you got the ticket which lets you take in two baggages and a 7 kg hand carry and 23 kg each I, I i came in from qatar airways a little bit expensive but definitely worth the money definitely no no doubt about it like i was traveling for 29 hours straight but the flight there were some flights which were like 50 hours long with massive stays like a day long stay in doha i took this backpack as well look 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 this is something smart like you'll be happy to hear that if you're a student traveling anyway not just straight if you take this take this okay not 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 don't fill it up just take an empty bag put it here boom make sure it's all clean and neat when you arrive to the us use it boom if this is like all busting up and you need something like water, I, I brought a water bottle with me without any liquid because I just want to make sure that I'm absolutely obeying all the laws of the airport and all that, the airlines and all that. So I took an empty water bottle. Where is it? Let me let, let me find out. It'll just take me a second. Okay. I took an empty water bottle, which I was most comfortable with drinking in, in my home, and I turned it into my water bottle in the U.S. And the tap water and the I, I had an article again. And these are most likely a really trusted uh, articles but i'm not a native american so you can take my word for it 99 percent but not 100 so the article which i read was that uh us and especially the place where i'm living in des moines iowa uh, make sure the tap water is look at this this is tap water in america like the tax money goes to the good use and it's super awesome for the citizens like they can drink and that's awesome like thank you so much america Awesome. Has some minerals which are beneficial. Has its ups and downs. Def overall, amazing, good. Like it's free and it's amazing and it's healthy. It's not bad. I don't think it's bad. Like I feel amazing. I don't feel sick at all. I've been drinking it for a while. I feel healthier than ever. And I like, look at my eyes. Like they're all white, all hydrated. I'm feeling amazing. Okay. So you, now you know about the tap water. What else do you know about? You know that you gotta carry this bag. If you're a heavy traveler, like of course you're coming here for four to five years for your study, so you, you are a heavy traveler. Utilize the space you are given the most. Take this with you. Don't fill it up once you reach the U.S. Somewhere like, no, uh, by the way, when I say reach the U.S., I don't mean like uh, before you take the connecting flight. I mean after you take all the connecting flights in the U.S. and you just reach your destination, then you can take this out and use it. Because if you use it at the airport, I think that will be causing a little havoc because then you'll have two hand carries, I think, and two luggages. That, that, that's weird. <laughs> so that doesn't work, work like that, I think. I don't know. I don't take any risks to know anything like that. I always obey with the laws. So I'm really cautious and I overthink everything. So I hope you know now how to travel. And it started, the video started off as a tour of my dorm, right? At Drake. But now it's gone far enough to be a video of how to travel into the U.S. and the how to pack all that stuff. That's how I work. I drift from topics to topics when my videos are not, uh, uh, when I don't have any notes in front of me telling me what to talk about or topics. I have them because I drift from topics. But that's absolutely fine because you accept that Drake. It welcomes all sorts of people with all sorts of ideas and all sorts of ways of speaking and all that. I hit my feet to that door accidentally while I was opening it because look the Americans are tall that's awesome that's good for them and that's uh, short people are fine with me as well so the doors are tall I'm not used to uh, well I actually am but whatever so I was opening the door boom it hit me so the the distance me distance measurement wasn't good because I, I thought maybe I'm not used to it I don't know so that happened <laughs> and that's fine why because uh, my RA uh, ISAC I believe 
who drew those among the stickers as well in my yellow house i'll ask him like whether he did it on purpose or is it a coincidence but either way works for me uh, so he provided me the band-aid like he's so nice such a nice guy that's awesome and i'll see you all tomorrow i'm getting a call from my colleague Bye.